Welcome to Gallagher's Grub. So I bought my Kamado Joe about a year ago, and since that time, I've really neglected using my Weber kettle, the poor thing. So I've decided that I wanted to buy a rotisserie ring for the kettle to give me an excuse to use it more often because I really love that Weber kettle. So I looked at the Weber branded rotisserie ring and it's pretty expensive. So I ended up getting this only fire rotisserie ring and today I'm going to make some rotisserie chicken. It's going to be great, so stick around. So the only fire rotisserie is essentially comprised of three parts, three sections. We've got the metal ring itself, and this is nice stainless steel material. And that fits right onto the Weber, Weber kettle. Then we've got the spit and the food attaches with these hooks. You can move these hooks back and forth. So that'll hold the chicken on here. And we've got this counterbalance. And then, let me show you how this works. If you go over to this side, right here we've got the motor. So the motor slides onto here, and then you bring the spit in, and it hooks right into here, and then you turn it on, and voila, we have a rotisserie. And now we're going to prepare the chicken for the rotisserie. And today I'm going to use some Italian seasonings and I'm going to start with some dried Italian herbs. We're going to sprinkle that all over the skin of the chicken, top, bottom, sides. Don't forget those wings and the legs. Next we're going to do the same thing with some garlic salt. And I really like this Lowry's brand. You know, it saves you from having to use salt and then garlic powder separately. For inside the cavity of the chicken, I've got these fresh herbs, including parsley, rosemary, and thyme. And I'm going to stuff two halves of a lemon in there as well. And hopefully this lemon will help keep the breast meat nice and juicy. And now we're going to take the back legs and using some chicken twine, no, not chicken twine, it's kitchen twine, I'm going to tie the ends of these two legs together, snip off the extra twine. All right, now it's time to skewer the chicken onto the spit. We're gonna go through the neck, right through the cavity of the chicken, and then out the, the bottom side of the chicken. And we're gonna Get this very carefully onto these spikes. You gotta be careful here because these spikes are very sharp. And what I wanna do is I wanna get these wings pinned to the chicken so that they're not flying all over the place as this bird turns on the rotisserie. I wanna get make sure those, those wings are tucked in there. Now I wanna come in from the other side with the other hooks. And lock that chicken into place. And now I'm gonna re-season the outside of the bird once again with those dried herb seasonings, the garlic salt, and now I'm gonna add some fresh ground black pepper. To set up the Weber kettle, you can see I'm using an upside down Weber basket to keep the coals on one side of the grill. And I'm using charcoal briquettes here because I find the hardwood lump charcoal gets too hot and will burn the skin of the chicken. And here I'm adding three chunks of pecan wood to give it some nice wood smoke flavor. Now I'm gonna light a mini chimney of charcoal. Like I said, this is a mini chimney. And before when I laid this charcoal in here, this was about a half of a mini chimney. So now I'm going to dump this lit mini chimney onto the unlit charcoal. 
We're going to make sure we get the coals exactly where we want them to be. And then we're going to place the lid back on, open the vents, and just let the grill chill out for a few minutes and get to the right temperature that we want to cook at. All right, we're looking pretty good now, so we're going to add the spit into the motor and place it onto the rotisserie ring. Turn it on. And we're rocking and rolling. The only fire rotisserie ring. This thing's really cool. I definitely am enjoying using this. Definitely high quality materials at a great price. So now we're going to place the lid back on and let this rotisserie do its thing. Okay, this is kind of cool here. Just look how close that counterweight comes to the lip of the lid of the Weber kettle. It just barely misses it. It's perfectly designed. And you can see here I've closed the vents down a little bit. It was a little too hot, so I had to close the vents down a little tiny bit. And now what I'm going to do, I've been doing this about every 10 or 15 minutes, is using some of those herbs. I've used, I'm using the thyme here. I'm just brushing on some olive oil onto the skin of the chicken all over just to give it a nice baste. Then we're going to place the lid back on and keep on grilling. So the bird's been on for about an hour now. You know, to be honest, I've lost track of time. Um, but it's been a lot of fun. So we're going to stop it. Stop the motor and I'm going to place in my digital thermometer. The thickest part here. So, you know, around 165, 170 would be fine. We're just over that. So, I, you know, we're fine. This chicken is done and it's ready to come off the grill. Rotisserie chicken grilled on a Weber kettle using the only fire rotisserie ring. Now it's time for this chicken to get in my belly. Okay, so here we have our rotisserie chicken. It is done. It's been resting for about 10 minutes now. This bar seems cool enough to touch now, this metal. So I can unscrew these screws here and pull this out. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and Take this bird off of the spit with our hands. There it is. Okay. Let's cut into this chicken and see how it looks. It looks terrific. It smells great. There's a lot of juice coming out of it already. Let's take off one of these legs. There's this. The string is holding together the two legs. Then cut that. Let's see if I can get an angle on this so you can see it a little better. Looks fantastic. Give this a little taste. That is awesome. <laughs> it's just awesome. It is so good. You know, using like the sort of Italian seasonings. Look at all that juice. It's unbelievable. That is a juicy and delicious chicken. Even, I mean, this breast meat is so juicy. Mm. Look 
Look at that. How good is this chicken? Mm. I think maybe the lemons help keep the, the breast meat nice and moist. But just that technique of using the rotisserie. Really, look at how much juice is coming out of this thing. It's amazing. The only fire rotisserie for your Weber kettle. Mm. The only thing I'm missing. Hang on. I'll be right back. The only thing I was missing is a glass of Chianti. This is great. This only fire rotisserie, I really like it. This is my second chicken I've cooked on there. And I mean, this thing is, this is fantastic. I mean, maybe I shouldn't eat anymore on camera. I just need one more bite. It's great. Highly recommend this only fire rotisserie, rotisserie chicken, glass of Chianti. It just doesn't get any better than this. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and flies. And leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on a rotisserie chicken. And of course, keep on grilling. I gotta tell ya, I had some tasty chicken.